Hello everybody, I'm on my way to Illinois. 375 mile drive, not a long one, but uh, it was something for today anyhow. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys, because you know how they have that coexist bumper sticker. And they said, we all believe in God. You know, there should be many paths that lead to God. Well, the New Testament and our Father in Heaven made sure everybody would understand perfectly well there's only one way, and that's through His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who gave Himself so that we, those who believe in Him, would be saved. There's no other way. That separates all the things that are set out there. There aren't many paths. There's only one path, which is through Jesus Christ. And uh, that's why they're trying so hard. Don't speak so much about Jesus Christ. Don't speak so much about him. You talk too much about Jesus Christ. Well, that's the only way. And it's silence. Those who talk about there's many ways to the kingdom of heaven because there isn't. And it clearly says, few there be that find it. You know, the narrow is the way. The wide is what leads to destruction. And many there go by it. We see it today. <clears throat> but for sure, that's what he did to separate all the, uh, to make sure, you know, there's no doubt about it. Only through the Son, Jesus Christ, there's no other way. You know, so many people are going to, uh, they're going to fall because of that. You've had their ears take up for such a long time. I mean, you know. They literally destroyed it. They made, they, they, they took a lot of people, man. They got a lot of people. You know, the Bible's even clear, you know, love not the world. That's what it says. Love not the world. You know, because love of the world is not of the Father. It's the flesh. Lust, lusting the things that are of the flesh. You know, we're to, this is where we are separated, chose to make our choices. But you can see just how wide that path is, how many people are on it. You know, because I'm going to tell you, if you get on that narrow path today, you're going to stand out and people are not going to, uh, Embrace what you say or do, you know, they're not going to You know because standing up being bold means you're gonna to have to say it's an abomination to the same sex You know, you're gonna to have to say things that people aren't gonna to want to hear and uh, They're gonna hate you for it Especially today yeah, you know, it's amazing how people can't even see all these uh, microwave towers that have been put up everywhere. They literally don't really notice it. They, you know, no more than the iron being put in food. Not like vitamin iron, but literally iron, powdered iron. And they put a little bit of it in the foods, and over the years you eat it, you consume it, after a while, that stuff gets into you. People think, oh, well, it goes through you. It won't stay in the plot. You eat enough of that stuff over the years, man. It'll be all in you. It'll be in your brain tissue, your blood cells, everything. You got iron all in you. That's why the Bible says in the latter, latter days, iron and clay will be mixed together. Let me tell you something. They've been doing it a long time. Check it out. There's videos on it. Just Google it, say iron and clay being mixed together, they'll show you some videos on it. Some. 
let me tell you something. Anything that says it has iron in it, you can be sure it's not the vitamin iron. There's a natural thing out there that you used to, but they're lying to you today. And a lot of people just believe what it says. When you look at it, it'll say iron, and it won't have no value or nothing. Just iron. And you'll see where a magnet sticks to it, you know? I remember a while back when I did that Google thing, there, that Google Google Doodle, where it had a picture of a scale, and it had the 144 on the uh, one side of it, and it had the big sun where it couldn't lift it, and then it moved out of the way, and the little sun lifted it. See, the little sun is the Son of God. Okay, those that are in the sun will be lifted. Okay, that's why he sent his only begotten son here. It's, it's really easy to understand it when you know, you know. There's no other way but through Jesus Christ. I stopped and got me some iced tea. And uh, a little hot chocolate. But anyhow, I just want to give you guys a little short note, man. Food for thought, man. It's all about Jesus Christ. We want to be praising our Lord continuously. I really don't think we're going to be here much longer, neither. Yeah, and all those people that thought there were many paths, many ways. They're going to start reading the Bible and see it. It's going to be a rude awakening. They're going to say, oh my, it does say this. It does say that. It does say all these things. Why were they telling us that this is the way it was? Pastor is going to say, because that's what you wanted to hear. You know, I didn't tell you these things. You guys would leave. Then how would he make money? See, they've all been made merchandise out of that's why the Word of God says, go buy from them that are selling. What are they selling? They're selling the Word of God. They're telling people what they want to hear. That's what it says in the last days. People having itchy ears will seek those that will tell them what they want to hear. And they made merchandise out of it. Look at all this stuff. Uh, another brother in Christ, Harold, was sending me all these things saying, Half off, buy now. You know, time is up. It's at hand. Get it now while supplies last. It was all animated cartoons of the Bible. Joel Osteen, Sam Hagee, and Joyce Myers, and all those televangelists that sell, selling their books. Yeah, you know, their watered down version. You guys see how we've been reading, trying to study the Word of God and redeeming the time, strengthening what remains. And this is how we're learning these things, the, what it means in these last days, why things were spoken of. Even where it says iron and clay won't be mixed together. I mean, literally. You know? I used to wonder about that, iron and clay. What do they mean? The, a multitude of people? No. Iron. Literally iron. <laughs> Remember, God's the potter for the clay. Now we got the, our government throwing iron in our food. And I think these microwave towers is going to have something to do with that. They're going to actually produce, and the iron that's in you is going to help grab those, those signals that are being transferred. People's bodies will be magnetized to it. Those that have iron in them. Not the animals, but the people that have literally been fed this stuff. Yeah, not that we got to have a spirit of fear, you guys. We're going to be removed from here anytime. That's why the Word of God says, you know, those that trust in the Lord will be alright. It's those that put their trust in man. They trust their government. They trust their everything. You know, they don't they should have been putting their faith and trust in the Lord. But 
they trust their president. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys, remember this, man. We do get attacked, but those that trust in the Lord, think on these on the things that are nice, wholesome, pure, true. You know? Know your mind with the things that are lovely of the Lord. You know? Think of the heavenly realms. Think of nice, pleasant things, you know? Not of the world, but of in the spirit, you know? Replace those thoughts. God bless you guys. I love you guys. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.